Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. Today, I thought we'd go to the movies. We have our upcoming sale of Magnificent Jewels, which has so many pieces with great Hollywood provenance, I had to share them with you in a special setting. So we kind of snuck out of the office, and here we are in the theater. Now, what I love about these jewels is that back in the day, Hollywood stars bought their own jewelry. They didn't borrow, they didn't work with stylists. So these pieces are a true reflection of the personal style amongst all of these people. We're gonna start first with Red Skelton, who was one of the most beloved and famous comedians of the 20th century. But what you might not know about him is he was a true connoisseur of jewels and gemstones. One of the pieces in his collection was his wife's fabulous bracelet by Harry Winston. This bracelet has 75 carats of rubies and about 34 carats of diamonds. I can't think of anything more red carpet worthy than that. Also from Red Skelton's collection, what might be one of the most impressive colored gemstones I've ever seen. This is a 17 and a half carat unheated Burmese pink sapphire emerald cut, beautiful, rich color, and I really can't wait to see the price that this brings. Could break a record. Let's see some jewels from the collection of Frank and Barbara Sinatra. One iconic piece from the House of Bulgari. Wonderful collar of gold, diamonds, pearls, but what makes it so special? The quality of this emerald. This is a classic Colombian emerald right in the center of the necklace, and it's an absolute standout. This is a bracelet from the collection of Mr. and Mrs. Tony Randall. He had a very popular series in the 70s called The Odd Couple. Turns out he had fabulous taste in jewelry. This is a very special Schlumberger bracelet that he gave to his wife, and I've never seen one quite like it, and I've seen a lot of Schlumberger jewelry. It has three plaques that rotate. Each is set one side with diamonds, one side with emeralds, and one side with sapphires. So you can mix and match, wear it any way you like, and it's just a spectacular design on that beautiful gold rope twist, which is classic Schlumberger. It's really an unusual bracelet, and I absolutely love it. Now, you can't visit old Hollywood without something from Charlie Chaplin, and we are truly excited to be offering this watch in our watch sale. This is the iconic Cartier Benoit design from the 1960s. This was a gift from Charlie Chaplin to his wife, Una O'Neill. This was a favorite piece that she wore almost every day. The design was first introduced in 1957, and he bought this one for her shortly thereafter in the 1960s. So we are thrilled to be offering this Hollywood treasure. And finishing off our collection of Hollywood stars, Sotheby's is proud to be selling jewels from the collection of Mary Tyler Moore. The proceeds will be benefiting the Mary Tyler Moore Vision Initiative. Today, I brought along my favorite. This is a wonderful necklace, 34 carats of old mine cut diamonds set in silver topped gold in the 19th century style. This is truly timeless, classic, elegant, and understated. And it really speaks to her own personal style, which she imbued in all the characters she played. That's all for the Hollywood group, but I do have to call out the stars of our show. This necklace by Bulgari is phenomenal. All diamonds set in 18 karat yellow gold, which is not typical. The center stone is over five carats. The back is so beautifully done, so much glamor. I mean, this would fit in to any Hollywood setting or any red carpet moment. That's our cover lot. And then on the back cover, we have featured this gorgeous brooch by Cartier London, 1950. And what really stands out, not only the design and the size, but the fantastic color matching on these emeralds, especially this leaf right here. Such a wonderful pear shape, so much color, and really, really beautiful matching on this piece by Cartier. And I can't do a video without mentioning my friends at David Webb. I just happen to think these are exceptionally glamorous. Wonderful sapphire and diamond earrings, again, set in yellow gold, giving you a little bit of that harkening back to old Hollywood glamour, and these would be right at home on any red carpet. So Sotheby's Luxury Week exhibitions open on December 1st. Magnificent Jewels will sell on December 5th, and I hope you can come see all of these and many, many more pieces. Right now, I'm gonna sit back and watch a movie.